Hey everybody! Hello. <laughs> As you can see, Blake is is thrilled to pieces to be on here going live with me Yay. on skincare. So y'all for those of y'all watching the replay, cheer them on, leave them a little bit of love. So as you can see, my husband's beautiful face right here. Hey, Hayden. Mm. It is really congested. Hey, Jesse. So usually, well, for a while he had been coming to me to get facials at Alexander Paul. Whoop, whoop. Um, but he hasn't done that lately. And so he's got some congestion, some dullness, stuff like that. He's got some he's got some skin issues. I was gonna use Mask of Zen on him tonight. Hey Julia. Um, I was gonna use Mask of Zen on him tonight because I felt like that would be probably the best thing to use on his face to help dry out some of that excess oil and purge his skin. You mean I was gonna use it. Right. Yes, you were gonna use it on your skin. Right. And put it on yourself. Um, because I'm not a licensed esthetician just yet. Um, so I was going to have him... <laughs> hey, Blake. Smiling. <laughs> you look so excited. It's Julia Shackelford Brinson. Hello, Julia. Um, he's really enthused. <laughs> he's also drinking to get himself through this. Uh, you know. So, I felt like that would have been the best thing for him to use. But unfortunately, I'm out. So I'm going to have him use a skin polish. The skin polish is going to do great anyway um, because it's going to, um, hey Beth, how's your daddy doing? Um, the skin polish will work good anyway. Um, it will help clear away impurities and take the, it'll exfoliate his skin, which is something else that he needs because he does have some dullness. So, the great thing about our polish is, first of all, it lasts forever, and it comes in this great little container, or large container. Um, it is certified Leaping Bunny, which is really hard to get. It's um, no cruelty from beginning to end. There's no cruelty. It's made with organic. Hey, Kevin. Um, how do you think I would look with pink hair? Because I'm thinking I might change it. I'm thinking maybe pink, but I'm not sure. What other color do you think I'd look good with? Um, it's certified Leaping Bunny. It has natural and organic ingredients. Okay, Beth, yeah, let me know and tell your mama I love her and your daddy too. Hey, Miss Lynette. Um, natural and organic, organic uh, ingredients also, so you know what is going on your skin is healthy. Um, it's non-comedogenic. It's not going to clog up your pores, make your skin worse. So I am going to have Blake, and I'm going to do this myself too. Um, by the way, this stuff, Blake, tell me what it smells like. And don't be all cheesy and like advertising. No, nah, it smells, smells fine. What does it smell like? Mm. Y'all. Hey, Natalie. Your cousin's over here hating life. Kind of a le lemony, a little bit lemony smell. Yes, that's exactly what you smell. It smells like lemon pie, y'all. Hey, Mr. West, get better. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I told, I left Daddy a message, so, and let him know. Kevin, yes, then I might go pink. Woo! So, I'm going to have Blake put some of this on his face. Um, Go ahead. Here, hand me your wine. Y'all, he had to drink a little bit to do this. Is, is, the, is my face need to be wet first? Damp, dampen it a little bit. Right. So when you use this, you want to make sure that your... Hey, Aunt Beth. Um, you want to make sure that your face is a little bit damp. Hot or cold water. Doesn't matter. Um, and you put it on your face. You can either use it just as an exfoliant and then rinse it off. Or you can do like I do sometimes, which is I leave it on for like 10 minutes. Let it set just because... Um, I feel like I get the best results from that. Um, and it's really relaxing. It gives me like a spa experience. All right. So, so you're going to need a little, yeah, get you, yeah, that's good. Y'all, can you tell he's a man? He doesn't know how to apply product. 
correctly. <laughs> but yes, it's it, in my ear. It's, not it's in it, honey. It's it's okay. But anyway, this stuff smells like lemon pie. It smells so freaking amazing. And it's got jojoba beads, so it's not going to scratch your skin surface and make those, like, tiny little fissures in your skin like um, <laughs> St. Ives. Um, hey, Susan. Um, as we all know, that stuff is terrible for your skin. If you are using that, please stop immediately. Like, any esthetician will tell you. Do not use that at all, ever. It's horrible. Don't use St. Ives. I hate down in a brand, but don't don't use it. Um, it will tear your skin up. And this stuff is is very gentle. It rolls on your skin. Hey Jessica, it rolls on your skin, um, as opposed to scratching it. Mm. Uh, you probably don't want to get it too much in your beard. No, yeah, just no. get it around. All right, tell me what it feels like when you put it on. Feels good. It's uh, very, very refreshing. <laughs> hey, Travis. So, I'm going to put it on my face. Ooh. How long do I let it sit? Like 10 minutes. I'm going to let it go. Ten. Ten yeah, ten like 10 minutes. You'll live. Your Aunt Beth is on your side, though. So, I've had this stuff for quite some time, and this is how much I have left. I only exfoliate about once a week. Um, exfoliating is really up to you and your skincare needs or what you feel like your skincare needs are. I personally don't like to exfoliate more than once or twice a week. Um, I learned that lesson the hard way when I started going to school and I was getting facials like every day I was at school and realized that that was way too much on my skin. Beth said, well, let's suck it up. If y'all can hear snoring in the background, that is my old English bulldog, Aria. She <laughs> is saying it's bitty by boot boot time. So, <laughs> she's like, I've had enough. I'm done for the day. So, anyway. She's got the right idea. I exfoliate about once or twice a week. Uh, I'm be getting a That's chemical fine. peel. That's mine. Oh, Thank oh, you. I'm sorry. I've been drinking the wrong glass. So, I'll, hey, Beth, I will be um, getting a chemical peel on probably Thursday. Woohoo! Along with a Brazilian. So, I'm going to need um, my girl, Gabby, to be at school Thursday. So, anyway, the stuff, like I said, it, has, it uses jojoba beads to exfoliate your skin so you're not stripping it. It also has um, olive oil and lemon, um, pressed lemon oil in it. Um, and basically, it's going to moisturize your skin, one, obviously, duh, because it's an oil. Um, but lemon also um, protects your skin and restores it. And also, lemon is a really uplifting scent. So, you know, you can relax and rejuvenate while you're getting giving yourself an at-home facial. True. So, Blake... What are your thoughts and feelings for today? Let's talk about Irma. Let's talk about Irma. Come on, Blake. Let's talk about Irma. <laughs> we have 10 minutes to kill while this stuff sits. So what are your feelings, thoughts, feelings, emotions? What's running through your head right now? I think it's uh, too bad. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no, I wish everybody, uh, you know... Stay safe for whatever whatever it decides to do. I think the forecasters at this point are probably um, stuck between a rock and a hard place because it's probably it's more likely going to hit somebody, and it's looking like it's going to be Florida. It's going to hit. <laughs> It's going to hit somebody, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going well, to hit somebody, people. Hey, Brooke. <laughs> it could go out of the sea. So, I mean, it, hurricanes don't always hit. Where is Adam when you need him? Yeah. It's going to hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jennifer. <laughs> All I can say is just be ready because we've seen what what, you know, just little category ones or twos can do coming through here. And, hey, Jamie. Um, if, we, if we ever actually did get a strong three or four, um, 
it, it would be really bad for our, our area. Yeah, we had Matthew hit last year, and, like, the steps to our house were, like, underwater. And my idiot husband was over there, like, at our next-door neighbor's house. What were you doing? Helping her move stuff? Yeah, she was trying to move stuff while... <laughs> like, not even, like, important stuff, like, you know... Junk. It was junk. So, he was over there late at night helping our elderly next door neighbor. And during Hurricane Irene, guess what he was doing while I was do any moment with our baby? <laughs> Chasing vinyl siding in the yard while the hurricane is going, mind you. This is not like, ooh, right before the hurricane. This is during the freaking hurricane. <laughs> My husband is outside chasing vinyl siding and roof shingles. Hey. Because apparently this is more important than his life and the fact that his wife is about to drop a baby. Yeah. Even my major at, um, at the jail told me, and this is his wording, do not show your ass up at work until after maternity leave because you ain't having no damn baby at this jail during a hurricane, okay? He is out there chasing vinyl siding and roofing shingles. Well, you know. During Irene. If I Irma can Gerd. save the... <laughs> she ain't coming here. You <laughs> hope she's not coming here. I don't know. If I could save the vinyl side and see, I could reuse it. and Build a new house. And when <laughs> ours got completely flattened, build a new house with a couple of vinyl sidings over, and roof shingles. Hey, you Jessica. Can fi you can fix the damage. See? And I did. You can't fix the damage when you've been hit in the head with some vinyl siding and you're unconscious in the yard. I've been hit in the head plenty of times. <laughs> hadn't slowed me down. Slowed me down. So anyway, hopefully she doesn't hit us. I'm not saying I hope she hits anybody else, but I really hope she doesn't hit us. Um, and just, you know, Florida, they're doing one out there. Yeah, I mean, Florida has it coming. I'm sorry, Morgan. Y'all got it just coming. Just a tip, like, just, <laughs> just where, a little bit. Where the swamps are. Hey, Crislin. No, you know, like the alligators, they don't care <laughs> if, if it's 190 miles an hour winds. No, but they're coming. They're, they're going to come in people's yard and probably eat them. Well,. They, you know. <laughs> hey, Melissa. They got pythons down there now, so you know they they keep it all in check. So, for those of you who are just joining, <laughs> my husband and I, aside discussing what Hurricane Irma is going to do, we are also drinking, and we are also uh, doing the skin polish mask from Limelight Biocomb. Um, and to catch you up, we have about four minutes left on our mask. Um, we've been able to kill six minutes talking about Irma um, and past hurricanes. But the, we're talking about the skin polish mask and how great it is for your skin, how it exfoliates, um, it soothes and protects your skin. And it doesn't strip your skin like some other scrubs do that actually have finely ground grain in them instead of um or finally ground sand in them um not sand it's not sand it's actually walnut shell excuse me i was wrong some scrubs have um walnut shell ground up and put in them um that's fine for your feet it's fine for your elbows your knees whatever because those are really tough spots on your body but for your face you don't want to put walnut shells on your face um, it's going to cause fissures in your skin. It's going to cause damage to your skin. Um, so, don't use those. Use something that has jojoba beads, like our like our skin polish. Our, our skin polish has jojoba beads, um, which basically just roll on your skin and exfoliate them. So, what else should we discuss for the next four minutes? Um... Uh. Fall's coming. Yeah. It's <laughs> a good thing. Yeah, fall is coming and y'all we're running out of, we're running out of material. <laughs> mm. 
What are y'all dressing up as for Halloween? Because Blake and I, I've already decided that Blake and I are going to dress up as Daenerys, Targaryen, and Jon Snow. I obviously... Tormund Giant's Bane. That's how I'm going to be. And you're going to be Bran. I... I'm too pretty to be Brienne. <laughs> I'm too pretty to be Brienne. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't do Brienne. Well, you know, you can be the hot Brienne. No. Yeah. I'm gonna be Daenerys. And you know, Halloween, you dress up, and you're all like the girls are always the hot version. Hey, Janine. Of whoever you're dressing up is. Mm. No, why well, won't you be Jon Snow? And I'll be Daenerys Targaryen. I'm too, I'm too big to be John. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> I'm too big to be Daenerys Targaryen. He's like a midget. Like, he's probably... You don't say that. We oh, see little people. Excuse me. I'm sorry. He is... <laughs> hey, Beverly. He is a small person. I'll just say it like that. But no, somebody suggested we dress Luke up as um, Tyrion. <laughs> <laughs> And we can make Arya a dragon. Luke, I mean, Tristan could be um, Littlefinger. Yeah. And Evelyn could be, like, who could she be? Um, she could be another dragon. She could be Arya. <laughs> She's a bitch like her. <laughs> so, anyway, we're discussing Give Halloween her a now. Sword. Oh my god, she'd kill everybody. So, yeah, the faceless one of the faceless men. So, we're discussing Halloween now. We've got like a couple minutes before we have to wash this mask off our face. Um, and we're discussing Halloween. So, um, I want to hear what Halloween plans or um, costumes y'all have in mind because we're going to do a Game of Thrones theme here. And I'm thinking about forcing all of my children to join in the theme. Even though I'm sure they probably won't. Beth West. Bolts. Are you still on here? Because I'm going to need you to participate. No, she's gone. She's gone. She gone. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's probably watching this right now and going, wow, they're... Drinking. Huh? Yeah, my dad. My dad saw my live feed from last night. Oh, you did. Say, hey, Dad. Hey, yeah. uh, the Reverend. <laughs> yeah, he saw my live feed from last night. And he was like, "Can I get one of those lamp so letter kits?" So did he kits? really watch? Apparently, his... he's like, "Can I get one of those lamp letter kits for 1999?" <laughs> Tell him he needs to expand his horizons. <laughs> Stuff yeah, go ahead and on. wash your face. Okay. So Blake is gonna wash his face and get this mess off of his face. <laughs> hey, you wanna top me off? While you're <laughs> <at it>. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go top me off. So anyway, um getting back to our polish, which is why I even came on here to begin with. Hey Teresa. Um this also helps reduce your inflammation and will balance your skin. Um, it comes in, hold on, I want to say there is a collection. It, you can also get the collection. Um, it's the Quench Cleanse, um, the, skin po uh, the Skin Polish, and the Skin Therapist. Um, and these all are really good for... Um, normal to combination skin um but it's also really good um for normal to early or normal to dry so actually the collection covers all skin groups um it really just depends on your specific type skin polish is good for everybody um I would not suggest um, the Mask of Zen for everybody just because um, the Mask of Zen kind of is more for oily skin, but the skin polish is good for everyone. Um, anyone from oily to mature dry skin is fine for you to use um, because it's going to replenish your skin. And believe it or not, even if you have oily skin, you need still need to make sure your skin has moisture in it. How does your skin feel now? Does it feel softer? Does it feel smoother? You have stuff in your hair. Yes, it feels, uh... You need to moisturize? It 
It was very smooth. Use that um, Kanban packet I have. It's right there. So you still need to make sure you moisturize if you have oily skin. Um, even though you're probably thinking, well, I have oily skin. I don't need to use anything with oil in it. Actually, yes, you do. Because when you dry your skin out too much, your skin is going to overcompensate um, by producing more oil. Hey, Barbara. It's your aunt. Oh, hey, hey, Aunt Barbara. You missed all the fun. You'll have to watch the, re the replay. Hey, Lauren. So anyway, I'm going to wash this off real quick. Um, I'm going to wet this off. Wet this actually. Um, and take it off my face. And y'all, for those of you who don't know, I am actually in school right now to become a licensed esthetician. And I'm going to school at Alexander Paul Institute of Hair Design. And my last graduation date as of this past week is the 23rd of September. So after the 23rd of September, I can get my um, temporary license and then I can officially sign up to take my boards and get my real license to practice um, a couple weeks later. So anyway, wish me luck. Hey, Crystal, wish me luck on taking my boards because I'm kind of nervous about those and I'm ready to get that over with. Um, so anyway, I hope everybody has a good night. If you have any questions about, <laughs> Blake says bye. Good night. <laughs> if you have any questions about any of our products, feel free to message me or leave a comment on my Facebook page and I'll talk to you later. Bye.